So hi, Kyriakos. Hey. Uh, we are here at Superbooth, and you are here with Relic, right? That's very true. So I'm Kyriakos from Relic. This is our first product. It is still in alpha stage, and we call this a hybrid control surface. It comes together with this breakout module. Uh, it's sold together, it's delivered together, and this comes in its own separate case, but it can be plugged to any Eurorack uh, case with a standard Eurorack power supply. So on the first uh, row here, we have 16 inputs and 16 outputs. These inputs can accept uh, any audio level, line level, Eurorack level, or control voltage. Now we have connected a few module outputs and a few module inputs to the breakout module. And on the first page of Relic, I can connect any input to any output with a press of a button. So this is chords going to mix up, or chords going to reverb, four voice of chords, or going to the delay. I can also store different routings, so different connections, and change them in real time by navigating on my preset. And this gives us uh, the possibility to create something which is called matrix sequencer. So the last track of our sequencer here is practically a standard sequencer, but instead of pitch or velocity, it sends different routing, so different patches on the Eurorack. So if I start by playing the sequence, you can listen that in every step, I'm changing the signal flow to going to different reverb delays or other effects. Besides that, Relic also has 32 CV outs and 16 gates. Uh, on the back of Relic, you can find also three MIDI outs, one MIDI in, USB MIDI, USB host, and the breakout connection, which is a standard USB-C cable. At this page, we have a 16-track uh, step sequencer. It's a pretty advanced step sequencer. Right now, we have step mode, but we are also working on Euclidean modes, polyrhythms, polymeter, and tracking. Uh, you can see here that all parameters on the landing page are non-destructive, so we are playing mainly with offsets, speed offset, velocity offset, duration, so on and uh, so forth. But if I click any of the parameters, I enter in a piano roll mode. At this moment, I can enable a step, and then I can change the pitch of this step uh, by just moving the encoder. In a couple of weeks from now, on the next iteration, we're going to transform the whole grid into a piano roll. So this is going to be C0, D0, and you will be able to enter notes on a piano roll directly on the pads. We also have velocity that works in the same way. This will also be isomorphic, so we will have faders on the LED, so you can draw your distribution of velocity. Same for duration, probability, jitter, micro time, CC number, CC value, and uh, hopefully soon MP support and uh, more polyphonic uh, features. We're also working on a clip integration where you can store each one of the patterns of the sequencer into a clip, and then you can have follow up actions like play this pattern for four bars, move to another pattern. And the note mode, which is going to be an isomorphic keyboard, divided in half, it's going to have drum mode, uh, chord mode, scale quantization, all these kinds of features. On the bottom part of the device, we're going to have 127 macros for velocity, mode wheel, pitch wheel, or any other CC parameters. Each track comes with an LFO and an envelope. Uh, pretty soon we will be able to draw LFOs on the pads. For demonstration purposes, right now we have 100 different waveforms that we can interpolate between, we can morph. Uh, these LFOs and envelopes can go out in audible rate up to 25 Hz uh, through the control voltage or through MIDI-CC or USB to any of the other devices. We also have a DW integration, still alpha stage, quite early development. Right now this is connected to Ableton Live and we have all the we can take all the names and colors of the clips uh, directly here. We can navigate on the grid by using the joystick as before. We can trigger loops, record, solo mute, and it's also synchronized together with all the rest of the hardware. So the main concept behind Relic is to have one device that doesn't really care about the particularities of its technology. So if it's Eurorack, if it's analog, uh, if it's digital or if it's sequencer, but we can control everything on the same musical workflow from a single uh, interface. Perfect. So, when are you kind of hoping to have it done? Obviously, you said that we're kind of at a uh, we're at a late stage here, but late what? alpha stage. Right. So, so we hope that in the next few months we're going to move to beta. We don't want to give any false promises right now because we know that situations can change based on logistics and manufacturing times, and we want to start fulfilling pre-orders when we have an actual shipping date from our logistics partners. 
Uh, but right now we're landing the pre-launching stage, so you can stay tuned on when it's going to release. And as a rough estimate, which is not a promise uh, by any way, we expect by the end of this year, beginning of uh, next one, to start shipping uh, the first uh, early adopter units. Perfect. And is there a price for the kind of early adopters? Yes. So Relic have an MSRP of 1,600 euros, and for at, at the moment we have a pre-launching stage where people can reserve an invite and get early units for 1,099. So are you finding uh, being at the show, because obviously this, you said that this is the first time that you've uh, displayed it at a show, um, are you finding that people are kind of asking questions and, and asking for features that you hadn't thought, out, thought of and stuff, and does that kind of make it harder to then finish? the product. For sure. Uh, I mean, it's very exciting to be here and interact with people, listen what they are thinking and also try to think outside their normal uh, ways. We definitely got some great suggestions that we are, cannot wait to go back and investigate how we're going to implement them. But for us, this is part of the excitement of being in development. And some of these features can be added later on or some parts of the development can continue while we investigate these features. Perfect. Well, uh, Kyriakos. Thank you very much and uh, very much. best of luck and we'll see you in the future, I'm sure. Thank you very much. Same here. Have a great show.